Taipei is considered the food capital of Asia. But besides food, this city has actually a lot to offer. These are my 30 hidden secrets and best places to visit in Taipei. Now what better than to start off your Taipei adventure with an epic Taiwanese breakfast. <laughs> Fuhang soy milk is the most popular breakfast joint in town. And it's so popular that people will wait hours in line just to get that fresh batch of bread. Breakfast at Fuhang soy milk is very affordable and the quintessential breakfast for many locals here. For 110 NT, roughly $3.60 US, this is an incredible breakfast deal. Breast stick sandwich, which is one of the highlights here. So it's deep fried bread. Deep fried bread on a bun. I don't know how they come up with that. It is actually really good. Yeah, I can see what the hype is all about. This is amazing. All right, so we're gonna top it off with some dochang, which is the soy milk. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Actually, this works great with the bread and the pancake. That's an ideal breakfast here in Taipei. Now, before we dive into the city, take a quick day trip to Jofen, a former gold mining town just an hour east of Taipei. This cute little mountain town has gorgeous scenery and delicious foods you must try. Like peanut ice cream rolls and stinky tofu. It is stinky because it's fermented tofu. Wow, that is so good. It is a bit stinky, but in the end, it's well worth it. Just make sure to top off your Joe Fan adventure with a little tea ceremony at the Ame Tea House. The most beautiful tea house in all of Taiwan. Fried chicken is one of the most popular street foods here in Taiwan. So I had to drop by the famous fried chicken founding headquarters to pick up a batch of fried snacks. I decided to enjoy these snacks at the Xixiang Garden, located right next to the National Palace Museum. True serenity outside the bustling city of Taipei. All right guys, so we're here at the National Palace Museum Park and it's time to try the authentic Taiwanese chicken nuggets. Now, one thing about the chicken nuggets, these are completely different from McDonald's chicken nuggets. The main difference being is they keep little pieces of bone inside the chicken nugget so the meat stays nice and tender compared to the really dry taste you may get from McDonald's or KFC chicken nuggets. And then season it a little bit with basil. Oh! Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Why McDonald's? Why can't you just do it right? As you can see, the inside looks just like a regular chicken nugget. Oh my god. Another popular snack, rice sausage. Never heard of it. Huh. Wow, man, Taiwan really knows their snacks. Nice and wet inside, as it sticky rice should really be. The National Palace Museum has a permanent collection of 700,000 pieces of ancient Chinese artifacts. It is one of the largest Chinese art collections in the world, encompassing 8,000 years of Chinese history. The nationalist leader Chiang Kai-shek decided to safeguard these Chinese treasures during the communist revolution on mainland China and have been here on Taiwan ever since 1949. And that's why this museum is considered very controversial. All right, time to go back downtown for some dinner. Taipei is the food capital of Asia, but with that reputation comes a lot of strange foods and restaurants as well. Oh, look at this, it's like a turd sausage. Oh, this is hilarious. So what better than to have a delightful beef curry in a toilet bowl at the toilet restaurant. It's a toilet full of curry. At least, I hope it's actual curry. Let's get it nice in there and into the curry sauce. Let's scoop it out of the toilet. Oh, this is great. That's, that's actually really good curry. Don't forget to try their poop meatballs and poop ice cream as well. Another strange dinner activity is prawn fishing. Here you can fish your own prawns at this bizarre indoor pool. <sighs> Once you capture the bunch, throw them on the barbecue and enjoy. And this is the final result, the first catch of today. Yeah. Some of these prawn fishing shops are open 24 hours. And the record holder at this place got 43 prawns in one hour. My attempts to break this record were miserable. Another great activity in downtown Taipei. Now, if you really want to step up your dinner party, head to the Snake Alley at the Huaxi Night Market. Here you will find the most bizarre restaurants in the world. But I came here specifically to try snake venom, snake blood, and snake skin salad. But for that video, you'll have to watch my complete Snake Alley episode. Supposedly, there's a lot of health benefits to this. Oh. Oh, that was like really strong alcohol, but venom, venom. 
Moving on to the cutest cafe in Taipei, the Rilakkuma Cafe. Another famous theme cafe here in Taipei. This cafe offers super cute lunches and dinner experiences. I ordered the omelette with rice and a coffee. Doesn't this just look adorable? Don't you drown me! As expected, the meatballs and the omelette were rich and delicious. They also sell a bunch of cute desserts and merchandise. Top off all this madness with an incredible shaved ice dessert at the Ice Monster. Ice Monster is one of the best shaved ice shops here in Taipei. Now they were about to close, so I had the whole place to myself. Usually you can expect long waiting lines, so either come super early or right before closing time. My recommendation? The Almond Shaved Ice, which set me back 220 new Taiwan dollars. Dessert time, this thing looks amazing. That's so massive. Red beans, almond jelly, and almond shaved ice. It's not even like icy, it's more like flaky, flaky bits of almond. I'm digging a cave right here. <laughs> I just want to live in it. The most iconic building in Taiwan is Taipei 101. And the best place to observe this marvel of a building is the Elephant Mountain. But to get to the top, you'll need to take these super steep stairways. So make sure you take many breaks to catch your breath and drink plenty of water, especially during the scorching summer heat. But once you reach the top, you can enjoy these mesmerizing views of Taipei 101. As you can see, it's an absolute boiling day. It's, I think it's like 36 degrees with an insane humidity. Sweat is literally dripping off my skin here. Next stop, the observatory deck of Taipei 101. Did you know Taipei 101 used to be the world's tallest building between 2004 and 2010? From Taipei 101, you can take in the stunning views of the entire city. Although the entrance fee is a bit pricey. 600 new Taiwan dollars per ticket, which is roughly 20 US dollars. So make sure you come and visit on a very clear day, otherwise it's not worth your hard-earned dollars. In the basement, you will find Michelin star dumpling restaurant Din Tai Fung. This place is absolutely massive. Notorious for its Shaolong Bao, better known as soup dumplings. So this is the Shaolong Bao. You pick it up from the top and you put it in your little spoon and you poke a hole. So the soup base will fall in your spoon. Oh, that's so good. Almost like creamy pork, but it's delicious. The heat and temperature is absolutely on point. So another way to eat the dumpling is with soy sauce, vinegar and ginger. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, wow Taipei, you nailed it out of the park, this is incredible. This place may be a bit pricey, but trust me, you'll be blown away by the most delicious dumplings in Taiwan. Quality over quantity. Now if time permits, check out the bizarre Core Pacific shopping mall, which looks identical to the Death Star. Because it looks exactly like the Death Star. Even the entry points, that's just nuts. Kick off the next day with a seafood adventure. Now I am really big into seafood, so I had to venture out to the most high-end fish market in town. The Addiction Fish Market. This fish market has an incredible selection of fresh seafood. So fresh that it may even run away. You won't find this level of freshness in most parts of the world. So time to try out this fresh batch of Taiwanese seafood products. I'm super stoked, it's morning, we're having some lunch. All right, time to start off with the fresh sashimi. Look at this box, my god, what a presentation. Salmon sashimi. Oh my god, that literally melts on the tip of my tongue. That is absolutely perfect. Really good tuna is usually really hard to come by. Oh, wow, that is so juicy for fish. It's not dry, it's absolutely perfect. Like it literally just came fresh out of the sea. They nailed this out of the park. I'm really impressed with this sashimi. Spicy fish eggs. This is the part of the salmon where she stores the eggs. Whoa. That's a very unique taste. All the little eggs popping in my mouth. I can see why this is one of the best fishery markets in the country. Nothing beats grilled eel, barbecue grilled eel. Oh man, it's still warm. It's still warm. I just, I wanna eat this whole thing. I'm a little heaven. Unagi heaven. 
this gorgeous place is the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Chiang Kai-shek can be considered the founder of modern Taiwan. He took the Chinese nationalist government from mainland China to Taiwan during the communist revolution. This is the main plaza in downtown Taipei. We got the main memorial of Chiang Kai-shek in the background. And this is the, the National Theater. <laughs> Moving on to the Shimanding Shopping District, which many compare to Tokyo's Harajuku District for its funky fashion and youth culture. Inside of the Shimanding District, you will find the Aichang Rice Noodle Shop. This place is always packed with customers, which is a good indicator for quality. I got myself a small portion for 50 new Taiwan dollars, which is around $1.60 US. Thick gravy, thin noodles, and bits of pig intestine, making this snack a must try in Shimanding. Oh, that's hot, but that's delicious. That broth is so good. It's so thick. And that pork intestine really adds quite the flavor. Another good spot in Ximending is Lao Chiang Lu for its wide selection of braised duck. From duck tongue, duck feet, duck hearts, duck intestines to duck head. Go watch my entire duck episode for my complete braised duck review. The link will be in the description box below. Oh man, this is, uh, this is pretty intense. <laughs> What am I doing? Now a hidden secret here in Taipei is ice cream shop Snow King. Especially if you want to challenge yourself. One thing guys, the ice cream flavors are quite expensive here. Around four bucks a scoop. Chili pepper, pork knuckle. How about some soybean curd? Hey, and if you're at it, some Taiwan beer. 3.5%, not that bad. I'm gonna get drunk of ice cream today. <laughs> oh my God. I have 73 flavors. Check these out. This is Taiwan beer, 3.5% and Kao Leon. 58%. Kao Leong is a strong distilled Chinese liquor with an alcohol percentage ranging from 38% to 63%. That's why Kao Leong smells extremely strong. It stings the nostrils. That's just insanity. So if you want to get wasted, this is the right place to come to. Oh, oh man, those are puke reflexes kicking in. Oh, that's too strong. I don't think I can take much more of that. You can settle for some sesame oil chicken ice cream. Oh, oh I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. Oh. <laughs> it's like big pieces of chicken are in the ice cream. Can't make this stuff up. I give him a 10 for at least trying. So yeah guys, after all those crazy ice creams, let's top it off with something nice. The custard apple ice cream. Mm. Oh, that's nice. The good thing about this place is the ice cream in general isn't as sweet. This is actually real ice cream. If the alcohol drenched ice cream wasn't extreme enough for you, how about a knife massage? All right guys, we're doing a little warm up here before we go into the knife room. The Zen is coming to me. It's time for the knives. I consider this another hidden secret here in Taipei most tourists do not know about. Enjoy a one hour knife massage with a knife massage practitioner. So here are the knives. They're real cleavers. Don't try this at home. You may injure yourself. That sounds so scary. <laughs> Luckily, their training is very strict. They require to be vegetarian and meditate on a daily basis. Although when it came to my skull, I got a little freaked out. So another procedure will involve the skull. Well, let's see how that's gonna go. My bum feels great. My bum feels <laughs> absolutely great. This is actually really enjoyable. I had no idea. After all of these mind-blowing experiences, you may be in the need for a bit of Zen. So visit one of Taipei's many temples. Longshang is the most popular temple here in Taipei and is often visited by many locals praying to a specific deity. This temple is also called the meeting place of the gods. That's why you'll see many offerings here with rituals taking place every single day. <laughs> Alternatively, you can check out the temple of Xing Qing Kong. You will be able to find many businessmen here looking for good fortune. To really take some time to relax, rent a bicycle in the northern tip of Taipei and cycle along this gorgeous waterfront next to the Keelung River. So yeah guys, why not rent yourself a bike and go biking in the northern parts of Taipei. On a nice sunny day like this, this is where a lot of people from Taipei spend their weekends. These U-bikes are available all over the city. Plus they are super cheap to rent. Just 20 new Taiwan dollars per hour. That's 60 cents US. That's crazy. Now YouTube, 
but you bike. <laughs> if it is a hot and sunny day, you need to take a pit stop at the Moonlight Riverside Cafe for an epic mulberry smoothie. One of my hidden secrets here in Taipei. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. It's like raspberry, but better, way better. Only 80 Taiwan dollars for this massive amount of mulberry smoothie. Nearby, you can find these bizarre century eggs, which gotten their green color from fermentation. These eggs can take up to four to five weeks to make. Traditionally, these eggs were made with a mixture of salt, lime, and ash. So make all your egg fantasies a reality at this little tea egg shop. The century egg, fermented duck egg. Quite the, quite the delicacy here. Yeah, it's actually really good. It still tastes the same as the yellow chicken egg, but the gelatin base around it actually adds, adds a certain smoothness. A very unique building just north of downtown is the Grand Hotel, one of the world's tallest Chinese classical buildings and a great place for photography. Fun fact, this building has been decorated with 200,000 dragons. <laughs> For dinner you should consider a Chang Goose, one of the best goose restaurants here in Taipei for a quick delicious bite of chopped goose. My order consisted of Chinese cabbage, a very strange duck blood soup and of course delicious chopped goose. But no meal is complete without a refreshing Taiwan beer. This is actually really good. This is really good. Taiwan is most famous for its many night markets, which run from the late afternoon until midnight every single day. At these night markets, you should try the Hot Star Large Fried Chicken, an oyster omelet, delicious pig blood cake, pepper pork buns, and some fun street games. These night markets are so massive that they required their own reformat episode. So make sure you check out my full review by clicking the link in the description box below. One thing that truly blew me away was the Taipei nightlife. I had no idea Taipei had so many great bars and nightclubs. I will go as far to say that this was the best nightlife scene I've ever experienced. At great nightclubs like Vibe, Electro, Babe 18 and Omni. With an epic after party meal at Heidi Lao. But for that video, go watch my entire Taipei nightlife guide. Again, the link is in the description box below. Whoa, now it is finally bedtime and where better to stay than at Hotel Royal in Beito. Whoa. Hotel Royal is best known for its incredible hotel rooms complete with their own private hot springs bath. You add hot spring water fresh from the mountains, but because it's boiling hot, you add a little bit of cold water. Oh, that smells. Fresh hot spring water. Taiwan has a lot of tectonic activity, which is why Taiwan has the highest concentration of thermal hot springs in the world, making the Beto region pure hot springs heaven. Now I still have a bunch of bonus tips, but first navigate to reformat.com to download a detailed map of all the places I mentioned in this video, complete with the exact addresses, prices, photos and all my personal advice. Okay, now here are my bonus tips. Since I'm Dutch, I found this particular restaurant really interesting. A poffertjes restaurant downtown Taipei, which are mini Dutch pancakes. What are the odds? Not your average Dutch pancakes. Oolong tea poffertjes. Speaking of Dutch, did you know that Taiwan used to be an old Dutch colony called Formosa? Expect a full reformat episode on the Dutch colonial history of Taiwan. And this is the guy that kicked out the Dutch. Kojinga. If time permits, check out the South Village, where the soldiers of the Nationalist Army were relocated after escaping the Communist Revolution on mainland China. South Village is nowadays a museum and cultural center, easily walkable from Taipei 101. For transportation, consider either renting a U-bike, a cheap taxi, or use the super efficient Taipei MRT to get around town. The Taipei MRT is one of the best metro systems in the entire world. Also, make sure you watch my first episode on Taiwan to learn more about this wonderful island nation. In conclusion, I was pleasantly surprised during my stay here in Taiwan. The Taiwanese are nothing less than exceptionally friendly 
helpful and full of energy, making Taiwan one of the most incredible places I've ever visited. Sadly, I could not cover all the cool things to do here in Taipei in just one video. That's why I created an entire playlist of all the videos I recorded in Taiwan. So make sure to check out those episodes as well. Now, if you have already been to Taipei, let me know what your favorite spot was in the city by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Now hit that like button if you think this video was useful and make sure to share this video with all your friends that are considering of visiting Taiwan. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to look out for next week's episode. I believe it's going to be my best episode yet.